Why did you choose jazz, UK? Is there a wide audience for jazz in Nigeria? Funny enough, there isn't. I mean, it's, there's never a large audience for jazz anywhere. It's always pop, and, but jazz has a very huge significance in quality. Where, wherever it's played, wherever you hear it, it stands out every time. And I like to tap into that a lot. First of the background, I grew up in a family that they loved jazz a lot. So that's one part of it. That's how I fell in love with it. And then you can actually express a lot. I can pick up my flutes and I want to kind of like... You can do that with a voice too, but I mean, I feel like I can express more with this um, instrument. I, I performed once and I played both of these things at the same time. And then someone said, it's not possible. You're playing from a computer. But it is how much I can actually express myself. I'll show you. Cause First of all, tell us. Okay. The sounds coming from these, are they different sounds? Okay, this is actually the same models. Okay. But this is different. Okay. But what I, why I take both of them is because I want to play treble, treble and soprano at the same time. Okay, show us. Okay, so for example, um, I play this. And I do this. Then together. So it's it's a very good um do you medium. Mind? Can you do that again? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um I started with then together. Okay. He's in the choir, so um, <laughs> he loves music and he sings. Okay. So he's, he's really intrigued by all this and he's wishing that he could play some of these things, I'm sure. Of course. It's mm. not too late. Don't you, Andy? Ella was just putting me on the spot today. <laughs> but but you, you, you are intrigued. I, I, I mean, I can see you, 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 you're short of words, you know. How do on earth? could you do that again? <laughs> Okay, we'll do one last time. <laughs> He's told you. Okay. Last time. It's practice. Yeah. You could make it a bit longer so we can get to enjoy it a bit more. Uh, yeah. Okay, you haven't played this one. Yeah, I haven't played this Okay. Too. So, okay, let's, let's save this one last, right? Okay. Okay. What's at the same time you started dreaming of your musical... Um, career, I think the jazz musical career, they also started thinking about um, producing and directing of video. Yeah, um, I started playing music first off, and then as an artist in Nigeria, you, you, have, you have an idea of your song, you have to go and meet a producer to interpret that for you. And then I had these ideas and I went to producers and they said, hey, this is not popular, I can't give you this vibe, I can't do this. That was discouraging for me. So I had to go get a program that produces, and I studied the program. I learned how to produce. My brother's name is Lyric. He produces for Aristocrat Records now. So we learned how to produce because of that situation. So I could now record what I have played into the music program and then build other sounds surrounding it and could have compositions that sound as beautiful as you heard. That made me um, do that. Now. Making videos is very expensive in Nigeria also. So what I did was learn how to make the videos. And I did the videos for myself. So most of the things are actually due to the fact that you can't find solutions to what you have and you create a solution you look for yourself. You. Exactly. So that's how I have Necessity exactly. is the mother of invention. So how much you, uh, I mean on the average, they say you spend at, on the average about 2.5 million uh, to produce a music, one music video. Yeah. So how much do you spend to produce yours? Okay, first off, um, I try to keep it very simple. Since you're the one doing everything. Since I'm the one doing, <laughs> no, most of the money actually goes into the equipment. Okay. Like the camera, I have to use a red, like the last one we used a red epic, red dragon to actually shoot it. And the camera is like a very huge amount to rent it for a day. So, I mean, those are where, but the first video celebration, I did it with my phone. It was a Sony Xperia phone I had. And I mounted it on a small tripod, made it stable, and was in a compound. I like, okay, let's do this. And we did it, and we put it on YouTube. 
and people liked it. It was the video they saw that the Kali Entertainment said, this is wonderful, we, we would like to associate ourselves with you. So it's not really about the budget, it's the creative process you put into it. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. Hmm. So which of them do you enjoy most? The music production or the playing or the directing? Uh, that's a very difficult question to answer, but I try to somehow both of them always tend to you know merge with each other for example companies ask you to do a commercial for them and you, you don't have a, an ident or a sound and i go oh, i could do it so i go to the studio and i make an ident and i put it into what i was directing so they all work together to make me have a final product that my clients would like so i like the music a lot i like the video directing too they all have the challenges but i think I can't pick one for the other. You enjoy all of them. I enjoy all of them. Mm. Okay. I know. Let's just say that um, you're going to have to play us out when we have closed the program. Okay. No, but before then, we need to hear this instrument. All right. This is called the Western Concert Flute. That's the name. It has much deeper sound than the record at so. all. <laughs> <laughs> How many music videos have you produced so far? Okay, for myself, I've done Celebration, Bloody Rose, Jamboree, Furious, so Awesomeness, that's five of them. And for others? From last, for others, I can't count it. There's a lot of them I've done. Because yeah, you, you tend to produce music videos for a lot of other Yes, for other artists, artists well. also, yeah. What are your plans for the future? Okay, um... This is the first, you're the first people hearing this, channels exclusive. Ooh. Scoop. Yeah, um, I'm making a song that's directed towards healing. It's called The Healing Project. It's directed to a lot of things that we are facing as a country and how we can survive them. That is the biggest thing I'm working on for this year. And we're going to release that possibly by August. So it's going to tap into every problem that we've had and how we try to fix it how we try to heal ourselves that's the idea and that's what we're working on right now do you have an album in the works or you have an album yeah last it? last november i released an ep it was not an album actually it was just showing them what i could do and how they accept it and they have accepted it very well so it's an ep that of 10 songs it has both the videos and the audio series combined to them so that i released that in november last year Okay, you've you've um, you've um, told us your story, how you looked within you to do the things you needed to do. You refused to let your circumstances push you back into the shadows, True. and now you're being accepted and being sought after. So maybe if you had a word or um, a word of advice to those who are coming behind, even those who are in the industry now, what yeah. would you say? We could just look into the camera and talk. Okay. Um my dad told me practice makes perfect, but I think that's not really right. I think the right word is perfect practice makes perfect. If you practice perfectly, you're going to have very good reasons to excel. So practice a lot, and it's a lot of practice to get to where I am today. A lot of practice and be creative about it, and then don't stop. Keep practicing, someone will see you eventually. If you're there already, just keep doing um, how good you are. And that, that's, that, that works for me. You should work for everyone else. Thank you very much, Ed Isaacs. That's your stage name, right? Yeah. Um, Uter, Edwin Isaac Uter, second exactly. son of six boys. Yeah. Music artist, producer, exactly. video director. Perfect. 
Thank you for speaking with Thank us. You. Thank you so much for having me. You're going to you're going to play us out. So uh, think of the composition, whether it's a fresh composition. Okay. Or a a new composition. Celebration. Hold on. Okay, just hold on. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Let's, let's, let's sign off first. All right. So thank you very much for letting us be a part of your lovely Saturday morning, the first Saturday of April. We'll bring you a fresh edition of Sunrise next week. My name is Alere Do wishing you all the best. Thank you so much. And for all that sent in their comments, we do appreciate them and we encourage you to keep them coming. Again, we say keep it short and please be civil for some that sent in very not so nice comments. Thank you so much. My name is Neil Taibe. Over to you, Isaac. All right.